Hey everybody, it's Professor Parrish. Uh, just a quick video update for this week. We are going into week five of our class. And um, so far everybody has been doing really good. Um, the vocabulary assignments that I've looked at so far look really great. So good job with those. Um, I'm recording this video Sunday night, so I know it's Super Bowl Sunday. Um, just make sure that by 11.55 tonight that you have your vocabulary assignments in and that you've got your discussion forum finished because I know that there are some missing. Um, please make sure you get those done tonight so that you definitely get credit for those assignments. There are a lot of points with our vocab this week, so I just want to make sure that you don't miss out on that. Um, going into our assignments for next week, I've got student view on. We're going to look at coursework and see what's going on. So uh, this due tonight are the vocabulary and the discussion forum. Uh, this coming week there's just two assignments. Obviously watching this video. <laughs> um, there are two videos that I would like you to look at and I'll go over those in a moment. But um, the first of our assignments are the Soul of Don Damien questions drop box. Um, I hope that you like the Soul of Don Damien. I think it's pretty interesting the idea that looking at this story um, our author gives us not a very clear view of whether or not Don Damien actually dies. I know a lot of you have expressed your opinions about whether he does or not. Um, I like this story because we're not really given a very clear cut ending and there's a lot left to our imagination as readers and so I really value that as a reader and as a writer so I hope that that story um, was interesting. It's definitely different. There are going to be a couple of quote unquote different stories that we look at. But um, the questions for Don Damien are in this drop box right here. And I will go ahead. Um, you can click on the file here to download them. And I'll get them downloaded right here and kind of show you what all they look like. Um, get that out of there. Um, so again, like we did with The Kiss by Kate Chopin, we've got 10 short answer questions. There are two essay questions, discussion questions, and you choose one of the writing ones. Um, please make sure that you do these questions here. They are short answer. Um, there were a couple of students that did not do those, and that does affect your grade. <laughs> um, but when you get done, you can upload the file here. It's pretty much set up the exact same way we did with the questions drop box for um, Kate Chopin. Um, going back to our assignments, the other thing that is due this week is the Unit 1 Characters and Conflict test. Um, we do have a few tests over the course of this semester. Pretty much if you look in our textbook, it is divided up into units. And this first unit covered characters and conflict um, from our book. So if you click on this, we haven't done a test yet in this class, so that's what I want to go over with you guys in this video. The test is due by uh, Sunday, February 10th. If I click on the test link here, um, <laughs> I, I start. I actually showed a student this uh, previously when they came by my office, so the test link is up. It will show you a test link, and what you do is um, you'll notice you have only one time to take this test. There is no time limit, so you can take as long as you want. Um, if I click on the test, you'll see that a lot of the questions are short answer. Please make sure that you are using um, capitalization, punctuation, and complete sentences. Um, one of the things I did notice and that I have been noticing in the discussion forums is a lot of our answers that we're making are not complete sentences or they don't have punctuation or capitalization. Since this is a reading course but it is related to English and writing I do look for that so if you've noticed that your discussion form grade has been lower um, that's why so just whenever you are done with the test you go down here and you click submit once you click submit the test is turned in and you cannot go back or redo it or anything it is done um, however if you are taking this test and you need to stop or pause or come back to it later up here in the corner you have this save progress button you can save your test click exit this exam and you can click this to either turn it in as it is which I would not do until you're finished or you can press this light blue button and return back and resume your test okay so if you have questions about the exam please let me know but um, the exam and your questions are the only assignments for this week you will notice in the resources that under bookmarks 
There are in week five uh, two short videos to watch. They're about narrative, point of view, and point of view in video. So they're very short, but they have to do with the upcoming uh, sections that we're going to look at. So make sure you check those out. And then if you have any questions, you all can let me know. I hope that you enjoy Super Bowl Sunday, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.